Hello children and welcome to our first school assembly of the new term. Here I am in my study recording this for you to watch and we really hope that you find this really interesting and helps you think a bit more about some of the big things in life that it's really good to spend some time thinking about. I did my muddy walk today around the village and saw some really interesting things that helped me think and reflect a bit more. I noticed on the gate of Polehampton Infants some really beautiful posters that some of you had made. One saying, remember that you are loved. And I thought that was wonderful. So thank you to the children who made those. I'm sure lots of the older people, especially in the village, will really enjoy seeing those. And then I met somebody else who said to me, do you know, Anna, I've just seen the first daffodils in the village, a sign of spring and new life. And I thought that was very special. So with this in mind, I'm going to hand over to Ellie, who's going to help us do a bit more thinking about some of the ways in which we can enjoy this year and think about some of the deeper things that are good to spend time reflecting on. So over to you, Ellie. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. <laughs> Like Reverend Anna, I have been doing lots of walking every day and every day I get so muddy. So I'm just going to show you how muddy my walking shoes are. Oh, can you see that? So much mud. Days and days worth of mud. I'm sure you've all been tromping around in your wellies as well, getting muddy. Now today, we're going to think about a different sort of mud, which might sound a bit funny. We're going to think about the mud in our minds, OK? We're going to think about our worries and the difficult thoughts we sometimes have and how we might um, have some tips for you for how to deal with those worries, OK? And why do we want to do that? Well, because Jesus told his followers not to worry. OK, and I've just found a couple of sentences in my Bible, which I want to read to you. So they're both from the book of Matthew in chapter six. And the first one is verse 27. And it says, who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? And if you stop and think about that, Jesus is absolutely right. Nobody's got the power to add an extra hour into a day, have they? The other verse I wanted to share is verse 34, which says, therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So in the Bible, Jesus isn't saying, no one's got anything to worry about. He's just saying, don't let it overwhelm you. Now, to help us think about that, I've got something a bit funny here. I've got a jar with lots of mud in the bottom. Now, can you see how it's all resting nicely at the bottom? And in my, this jar represents my mind, which is a bit scary. But the idea is that the mud represents my worries and my difficult thoughts. And the water above it is nice and clear. And that's how I want my mind and my heart to be clear and ready to do my work and to love my family and enjoy life. OK, and the reason that the water is clear at the moment is because my jar has been nice and still. It's been peaceful. OK, and if we think about this being our minds, it's as if we've had time to stop and maybe talk to someone about what our muddy worries are. Or maybe if we're Christians, maybe we pray to God about our worries. OK, or we've just chatted about them. So I want you to remember how lovely and clear my water is, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shake it up so that it represents what it's like if we don't stop and share our worries, if we don't take some time to try to sort them out and pray or whatever we need to do 
to clear our minds. Can you see how polluted the whole jar is? I'm not going to be able to think very straight while my mind's looking like that, am I? But gradually, if I settle my jar down, by the time you've finished watching our assembly, okay, in a few moments' time, the jar will have cleared again, okay? So later today, if you want to, you might like to set up a mud jar of your own. And then when you shake it up to represent what it's like to have lots of worries, you could talk with your family about the things that are bothering you and then wait and watch for that water to clear. Now, if you've got a snow globe, that's a bit of a tidier, easier way to represent this idea at home. And next time you're out tromping around in your muddy boots, I hope that that will help you to remember that Jesus doesn't want us to hold on to our worries. He knows that we have them, but he doesn't want us to hold on to them. He wants us to talk to people about them, to love each other when we're feeling worried. And if we pray, then he wants us to pray to him about his worries. Okay, I'm gonna hand back to Reverend Dana for a final prayer. Thank you, Ellie. Lots of really important things to think about there. I do worry as well. I talk to my friends and my family and people I know that love me when I feel worried and my jaw gets a bit cloudy, but I also pray. And do you know, children, I think I pray the most when I'm outside in the garden or I'm having a nice walk around Hurst, Ruscombe or Twyford. And even when you're walking in muddy fields, sometimes your food boots are so covered in mud, it just helps you think and walk slower and you can pray and talk to God as you walk. There's lots of really lovely prayers about walking and thinking and reflecting, especially some very ancient prayers from places of the world like Scotland, where there are lots of mountains and places to get really muddy boots. This is a really old prayer from Scotland, but it's really about walking and about thinking and about being still. So if you'd like to choose to join in with this prayer, please do say amen at the end. So children, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm and softly upon your face. May the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the very palm of his hands. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to this assembly and we hope the rest of the term carries on going well.